Federal ministers offer no clear answer to Senate call to fix Inuit housing crisis. The Northern housing crisis is a $10 billion problem at least, and that's being conservative, said Jane Philpott, Minister of Indigenous Services. Philpott spoke at the Senate committee meeting Wednesday to discuss the government's response to the report We Can Do Better, Housing in Inuit Nunangat, which examines the unsafe housing conditions of Inuit living in Nunavut, Nunavik, the Inuvialuit region of the NWT, as well as Nunit Siavit, NL inadequate and unsafe Inuit housing needs national fix, say Senators What can $1,800 get you for housing in the North? Nothing speaking to the Senate Committee on Aboriginal Peoples, Philpott said the federal government allotted $80 million in the 2016 budget to address the issue, including $50 million for Nunavich, $15 million for Nunitsayavit and $15 million for the Inuvialuit region, given directly to governments and Inuit land claim organizations. There are a number of keys to success and it's going to require a completely different way of looking at how we address housing gaps, Minister Jane Philpott said in Ottawa Wednesday. Fred Charter and Canadian Press, she also referenced $97 million given over two years to territories through the Canadian Mortgage and Housing Commission's Investment in Affordable Housing Initiative, and $10.7 million over two years to implement renewable energy products in off-grid communities that rely on diesel to generate heat and power. But Philpott admitted it's not enough, especially considering the growing Inuit population. Continuing with business as usual, even better business than usual, is not going to address the gap, she said. There are a number of keys to success, and it's going to require a completely different way of looking at how we address housing gaps. Some of those keys issues include long-term funding, innovative models for financing and supporting the development of institutions, Phil Pitt said. Another issue discussed at the meeting is the amount of time it's going to take to see substantial change in these communities. Due to the severe housing shortage, a young family in Iglalik, Nunavut, lived in this poorly constructed wooden shed. We can do better, housing in Inuit Nunangat, Senate Report Philpott said Nunavik will build approximately 144 new homes with its $50 million share of housing money, and in Nunit Siavit, she said multi-unit complexes are being built with its $15 million, but did not say how many. According to We Can Do Better, Nunavik alone needs 1,030 housing units immediately to address the shortage of adequate housing, and as of 2012, 196 families in Nunit Siavit were in need of housing. John Eves Duclos, Minister of Families, Children and Social Development, said Nunavik, the Inuvialuit's region and Nunit Siavit are in charge of building and renovating homes in difficult northern regions. They make, I think, the most effective use of the resources available, he said. Keeping in mind that speed is often at the cost of quality in the housing sector. And given the fact, as we all know, in the North construction and renovation take both good planning and time. The ministers did not say when they think the housing gap could be closed, but Philpott admitted we not only can do better, we must do better. The Senate committee wasn't convinced that would happen anytime soon. The projects that you've talked about and pointed to here, I don't think, are even going to keep us even, never mind deal with, the 3,000 houses needed, said Senator Scott Tanis.